sneaking up on you.
old JCPD building as our last refuge. When the lights go out, we will stand strong and fight back. A safe haven for everyone who deserves it. We will start again and leave the past behind. Come now, fellow outcasts. Together, we shall prevail. Hey, someone's sneaking up on you.
In Jericho City, everyone is equal before the law. A tiny surveillance chip implanted in your auditory nerve records every conversation you'll ever have. That way, we can always protect you from unfair allegations or defamation of character. To review personal recordings, please fill out the appropriate form and expect a waiting period of up to two years. If you find a misplaced audio log on the street, we urge you not to listen. Violations will be punished with a steep fine and or brief imprisonment. We already know you listen to... In Jericho City, everyone is equal before the law. A tiny surveillance chip implanted in your auditory nerve records every conversation you'll ever have. That way, we can always protect you from unfair allegations or defamation of character. To review personal recordings, please fill out the appropriate form and expect a waiting period of up to two years. If you find a misplaced audio log on the street, we urge you not to listen. Violations will be punished with a steep fine and or brief imprisonment. We already know you listen to this recording, so expect to receive a sternly worded letter from our lawyers soon. Have a nice day. Welcome to Best Clinic this side of Seaside Court, Tavarish. Feeling a bit sickly? I've been able to keep them at bay, but I'm not quite, how do you say, enough ripped to beat them without my little turret over there. Normally, I give you real thorough checkup for free, but we run out of medical equipment. How pathetic, da? I am world-renowned surgeon, yet my hands are tied. Damn apparatchiks confiscate nanomachines all over Jericho to cover up truth about nano-disease. Defrag. Without alternate supply routes, I'd be screwed. Just a moment ago, they shot down secret delivery drone right outside office. Even if soldiers don't find it in time, those damn scavengers will. You'll have to be sneaky. But if you pull off, little heist, I'll let you use med station on wall for free. Of course I'm real. Just trust evidence of your eyes. They call me Dr. Vladimir. Don't believe government agate prop. I am hard-working, genuine medical person. Of course, Tovarish. Your health is my business, eh? Say, ah... Uh, huh. Your nanite readings are strange, very disturbing. But nothing to worry about. Probably. You're stronger than entire Russian weightlifting team. You can pass through that scanner gate. No worries. Dasvidanya, Tavarish.
tired of sitting around? Bored of waiting? Do you want to return truth, justice, and the American way to the streets of Jericho City? Then what are you waiting for? Together, we can take back our city once and for all. With our combined forces, we will defeat the Nanite Scourge and reclaim what's ours. Join the Hunters today and help us defeat the Nanite Beast at Gideon's Rock.
Hey, Liz, it's Warren. Oh, my God. Warren? They told me you died. Creo's been on lockdown for weeks. No, Liz, listen. That's not the truth. Not the whole truth, okay? There's something going down in this town. Something big. The government is lying to all of us. I need a place to lay low. Not for long, okay? Only tonight. I know we've been through a lot, but... Listen, I'd love to help you. I really would, but... AID has been knocking on every door in the district. My boyfriend would lose his shit if I went against the government. We can't risk our spots in the evacuation. I'm sorry, baby, but there's nothing I can do. Please be safe. that shady Russian doctor downtown? He's a total crook. But he knows how to get past those scanner gates AID set up all over Jericho. Apparently, he has the right connections, whatever that means. Hunting creepy crawlies for money. Is this what my life's come to? You know I used to be an accountant, head of finance at Creo HQ. But after the event, the world went to hell in a handbasket. So much for our enlightened society. It's kill or be killed now. I know my choice. What's yours? You're out of luck, kiddo. I don't need any more recruits for the monster hunt. Now get out of my face before I lose my temper. There's a lot of planning to do. Never seen you at the court before. How do you like Jericho City's new state-of-the-art mall? The real stores closed down a long time ago, but you can still do some business if you're willing to pay an arm and a leg. I... I... I, I, I didn't mean that literally, okay? You never know if you're talking to one of those crazy limb-cutting SOBs nowadays. <laughs> If 
if you want to go to the harbor. Ask Brother Eli or get stuffed. <laughs> Looking for something to buy? I'd love to make you an offer, but my hands are tied. After that nasty defrag disease broke out, I helped as much as I could. So whatever the children of the Spark smuggled into the city for a fraction of the price. After a while, I was drowning in debt, so I borrowed a bit of money from a nice young gentleman. I should have known better. He turned out to be nothing but a loan shark, and I was easy prey. But I'm no dotty old lady, you see? I know what's going on. His threats get more brazen every day. Soon he'll come after my grandkids. Are you sure? I don't have anything to give you for your trouble, not even a penny. If you really think you can do it, look for a guy called Finn and tell him Miss Fox sent you. He's doing most of his business in Port Nixon these days. I owe him 2,000 tech scrap. If you can make that villain cancel my debt, I could buy new wares and stock my shelves again. I should warn you, though. Finn is a shrewd businessman. He'll try to con you out of everything you own. Time was that little cheat would have already been thrown in jail. But nowadays, it's all about image. Below the surface, he's a con man through and through. Finn knows how to play the victim card. He'll take you to the cleaners if you give him any kind of edge. I know your type. You fought in the mining wars, didn't you? We lost so much on both sides. And what for? Nothing. Here, take this. People like you have been through enough. None of us will. Hey, need some wicked drone implants? Cool by me, either way, but you gotta get on with it. I have so much stuff on my mind, it feels like my brain's gonna explode. Does it look like I'm in trouble? Well, yeah, probably does. Doesn't mean that I trust you, though. Okay? You can't be too careful. Yeah, you touch it, you buy it. We clear? What the? That's mine. Give it back, like, right now. Seriously. Not cool. That's a memento from my ex. I mean, what would you say if I just marched into your workplace and stole everything that's not nailed down? This was a token of our love, you know? It's all I have left now? I'm a broken shell of a man. Whatever. See if I care. I mean, didn't want it back anyway. Didn't need it. Well, it's that age-old story, really. Boy meets girl, girl dumps boy. Everything goes to hell. Said she needed to find herself. Now nobody can find her at all. 
I heard a little rumor she's hooked up with that rich bastard, Lil Johnny, at Port Nixon. I mean, I'd go there right now to check it out, but I've got too many enemies in that part of town. Maybe you could, I don't know, snoop around a bit? Awesome! I was hoping I could coax you into it. Oh, crap. I said that out loud, didn't I? I just really need some help. I'm freaking losing it here. Yeah, like the old harbor? That's where the shady punk-ass little Johnny sells his so-called drugs. I just can't stand that gassy sleazebag. I mean, have you heard those horror stories about the shit he gets up to in Terminal Z? Ew. Dude's like seriously depraved. All right, peace out. I'm warning you. This is your final chance. Who sent you? Was it my brother? G yeah! Of course. I should have known. But why... Why did that witless cretin Johnny ask you to spy on me, Declan? No reason to hold back. He thinks... You're out to get him! He thinks what? It's not like he's leaving me with a choice, is it? I've always honored our faith. Preached the good word and welcomed lost sheep into our flock. That's it. I give up. He will never learn the era of his sinful ways. He's brought this on himself by gorging himself on junk food like a glutton, indulging in carnal pleasures and selling drugs to washed up junkies like, like yourself. Wastrels, fornicators, heathens, the lot of them. You people disgust me. Soon our most glorious day shall dawn. The skies will be rent asunder with a deafening roar. The harbingers will descend and dispense holy, righteous justice. We'll cast off our frail skin, flee our prison of the flesh once and for all. Soon, there will be neither man nor machine, just eternal life. Do you really think that fat slob Johnny of all people will be the one to bring forth this new dawn? Trust me, Declan, this discussion is far from over. Justice will be served one way or another. I know there's something you haven't told me. Who sent you? Was it my brother? Welcome to our humble chapel. They call me Brother Eli. I've been taking a lot of lost souls under my wing. My disciple Truman told me of your coming. But enough about me. Tell me about yourself. You really don't know who I am? How unusual. I'm Matriarch Celeste's eldest son. A humble shepherd with small ambitions. Everything I do is to serve the glory of the spark and its mighty nanite harbinges. As they descend from the heavens, a new dawn rises. Even now, we lead the charge, providing power and food to the surviving few, whether they join our cause or not. The gateway to Port Nixon is locked for a reason. Nobody gets in or out without my express consent. A hardened criminal, huh? Tell me, why did they arrest you? Yeah, I remember that crash all too well. Damn plane came down in the middle of Port Nixon. Almost took out our cathedral. The spark must have guided you to me. I know what a coincidence looks like, and this ain't one. The Alpha and Omega, the source of everything. The light that will bring about a new balance between man and machine. Just look around you. Its energy surrounds us wherever we go. Glad you asked. I'm in deep water. Supplying our fellow men with salvage goods is getting harder by the minute. Everything I've accomplished is at stake. And the biggest threat is right here, inside my own ranks. I've got a bit of a family issue going on. My brother, little Johnny, has always been in charge of poor Nixon's streets. Now he's nothing but a drug lord. Someone has to bring him to justice. I'd confront him myself, but there'd be hell to pay if anybody saw me interfering, as it were. Only an outsider can take care of this mess. 
So, you have business sense as well. Good. You'll need it in these trying times. Don't worry about your reward. You'll be taken care of. That's a promise. Excellent. My associate downstairs will let you pass through the harbor gate now. Report to me once you put things to rest. He's hiding out in an old terminal in Jericho's harbor district, Port Nixon. The methods you use don't matter to me. All I care about are the results. His sinfulness must come to an end, once and for all. To be honest, we've benefited a lot from his supplies. But now that I know how he's earned his dirty money, I have no choice but to wash my hands of him. We've given him more than enough chances. Port Nixon is one of the oldest districts in Jericho. The whole city grew from that area. Nowadays, it's a hotbed for crime and violence. That's why our church is so important. We are Port Nixon's beacon. It's shining light. We bring hope and optimism. Or at least we did until little Johnny corrupted our holy cause. Who, him? He's just one of my little brother's pushers. I caught him red-handed with a stash of drugs. I've been trying to make him come clean for hours, but he's been, well, shall we say, rather stubborn. He'll change his mind soon enough. Sinners always do. May the spark guide you. Smell a new audio log? Come on over and show me. Hi, I'm Mr. Scrappy, your all-in-one rumor monger, information resource, and audio file vendor. I'll scan every audio recording you have and reward you accordingly. So, what do you say? Fill me in on the latest gossip, and I'll give you something even better in return. I'm not surprised you agreed. After all, I've studied your profile. All you need to do is bring me your audio recordings every once in a while for review. Since I'm in a generous mood, I'll compensate you with a couple of exclusive lost recordings. Here, the first one's on the house. Hello, I'm Kyle Baker. Oh, Baxter, sorry, sorry, Baxter. Can we do this one more time? I forgot my name again. Cut. Did you know that Blue Sparkle Diction is becoming a net? Blue Sparkle Diction? What the hell is Blue Sparkle Diction? It's Blue Sparkle Addiction, Mr. Baxter. Got it. Guess it was a problem with my addiction, after all. Cut. This is ridiculous. The Creo Anti-Drug Foundation? Who comes up with this trash? Mr. Baxter, we paid you in advance. Did you? You did. Oh, right. Uh, I must have spent the money on Blue Sparkle again. <laughs> Cut! Hugs defeat drugs? Who writes this button now? You wrote it yourself, Mr. Baxter. Could you please just do it one more time? Correctly this time? Honestly. What? You don't even know what you want. You can't direct an actor of my caliber like this. This is impossible. No, no, I won't do it. No money in the world is worth this agony. Welcome back. So. Nothing in this world is free. By accepting my help, You've already agreed to my terms of service. I'll give you all the information I have and sell everything I know about you to the highest bidder. It's a fair deal. Agreed? One second, I'll check my database. Have you heard about the Great Wall of Jericho? The governor had it erected to keep defrag at bay. 
At least, that's the official statement. Most of my clients believe they've isolated this place to sweep us under the rug. Literally and figuratively. Whatever that means, check back in soon. I'll keep you in the loop. You have collected more than 10 audio files. You have reached reward tier one. Great work. Enjoy listening. It's on the house. You have collect flip. You have collect. I will only say this once. The password is Keymaker. You'll know when to use it. This is Podshot, back from the dead for another season of film news, reviews, and gossip straight from the horse's mouth. Hi there. I'm your host, Dr. Phoenix Q. Rishbotter. This year, I'll be dedicating the show to my favorite film series, Iron Mouse. <laughs> now, let's start with the first and best entry in an increasingly desperate string of box office disasters. To me... One thing was clear from the initial frame. This movie is literally perfect. Apart from the writing, and the score, and the lighting, and the props, and the list goes on. But the worst offender by far is the so-called acting. I mean, seriously, guys. Kyle Baxter as Iron Mouse? Who had the brilliant idea to cast this flabby old ham as a rodent of all things? This film is the cinematic equivalent of mouse droppings. Small, grimy, and leaves a bad aftertaste. And on that note, see you next week for my review of Iron Mouse 2. Attention, everyone! Port Nixon is surrounded by nothing but rats and traitors. Don't trust the military. Don't trust outsiders. Blue Sparkle will guide you to the promised land. Defend Port Nixon at all costs. All outsiders must die. My Blue Sparkle will open your eyes and bring true salvation at last. Behold, Lord Eli. I'm so scared. Of course.
Come on, just try it. It'll expand your consciousness. But what if there's no going back? My brother had a dose of blue sparkle once. A few weeks later, we found him dead in the gutter. That's what your mom tells you. Because she needs a scapegoat. Because she can't face the fact she drove him to kill himself. But don't worry. This will make the pain go away. Forever. You can stop whenever you want. Okay. But just this once.